This is the Andromeda Mark II from Came TV. This is a Synity Gear News video supported by B&H and CVP. Hi guys, I'm Johnny from Synity and I'm here together with M. M, how are you? Good, good. Thanks for coming by. Thank you for inviting. And you're actually representing Came TV and you have a new light. This is actually the Andromeda Mark II. Do, did I pronounce it right? Yeah, the Andromeda Mark II. Oh man, I guess you have to be American in order to <laughs> pronounce it correctly. Anyway, so let's talk a, a little bit about what was the Mark I and what is the improvement in the Mark II? So the Mark I was a tube light. It had removable barn doors, but it had a cord that came out of the light to a control box. And the control box is where you would mount a battery, something like a Sony. Um, and that's where you control the, the lights. On the new version, what they've done is they have internal batteries. This can run up to three hours on a two foot or three foot version. The four foot version, probably about two hours. Uh, so it's a rechargeable battery internally. They've also added the controls on the back of the light here. Um, and it's still controlled wirelessly, which you can use an optional, optional remote or iOS um, application. You could still power this over DTAP if you want to run it longer, so not run on the internal batteries. Um, and the other features are it has quarter 20 threads on both ends and a couple in the middle here so it's easy to uh, mount just about anywhere. And how do you control this light? Is it only with those buttons or there's a certain app to control it? So you could download the Came TV app and that is the same app that controls all the other lights on an iOS device um, or you can get the controller here. This controller can um, control several groups of lights and almost an infinite amount of lights uh, so you can use this as well. The market is becoming rather saturated with a lot of tube, light, uh, tube lights like this one. What is the main advantage that you see? And I know that you're also a filmmaker. When you're on the field, why would you use it? What, what is the like, best test uh, case scenario for such a light? Um, I haven't looked at the other lights, but originally when tube lights came out, they didn't have the barn doors, they didn't have mounting points, they didn't have the dimmers built in. They didn't run on um, DC power, they ran on AC. There was a lot of uh, disadvantages to original tube lights. I'm not sure what they're doing now, but Came TV was the first to add removable barn doors, so you could use it as a tube light or you could flag it. They also had the mounting points built in. So they, they have been doing this uh, since the Mark I, and so those were the advantages. And uh, today, I'm not sure what people are doing, but they kind of kept the same form factor. Um, they just integrated it better with the built-in battery and the controls. Can you control several of those LED lights with the app or with the controller? Yeah, so these lights can also be set to a certain channel. So if you were to change the adjustments on one light, it would automatically sync across all the other lights. Um, but if you use the remote, you can control the channels as well here. And so you can control um, all the lights or groups of lights. For those who are not familiar with the, even the, with the Mark I, this is only tungsten and daylight or this is some type of RGB. So they make them available in like bicolor versions, daylight versions, and also RGB DT versions. So you can get a couple of different styles. How about the pricing and availability of this specific Mark II light? Unfortunately, they don't have the pricing just yet. This is still prototype as well. So I think they're trying to figure out the manufacturing costs to all the pieces, and then they'll get final pricing, which they say could be available in the next month. One more question as far as, uh, because that's for my curiosity. Are there any magnets here? Sorry, are there any magnets here? Can you kind of literally hook it somewhere? Yeah, so there are magnets on the um, back end here and also over here. So if you can find a place to mount it, you could do that. And anything that I forgot regarding this specific new light? Anything that you would like to add? No, I think we covered everything. Um, they do show it here, kind of set up with uh, four in a row, sort of like a bank. Um, so you can use them that way as well. Um, but yeah, they're pretty straightforward lights, but I think the great thing is they're just compact, easy to travel with if you just need to throw accent lighting or, you know, even use it as a key or a fill. And as we know, Came TV usually do very affordable stuff. So it's, I'm sure it would be very nice and appealing for a lot of filmmakers who would like to explore their way with new type of lightings. Good, Em, thank you very much. It was always a pleasure. I mean, actually, I think we met many years ago yeah, and it's been a while. It's been a while, yeah, so it's nice to see you again. Yeah, thanks for coming by. Thank you very much.
guys, thank you very much for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. But much more is to come from the NAB 2022 show floor. Thank you, guys.